Cuando nosotros llegamos a Gambia, siempre pasábamos por esta carretera. Veníamos de regreso y salían todos los niños del colegio a decirnos hola. Y un día el colegio nos pidió, nos pidió ayuda. Venimos a verlo y el colegio tenía grietas en todas las partes, una cimentación fatal y... Podía haber nido hasta de, de, de palomas dentro de las grietas. El tiempo que ha transcurrido de todo esto, estamos hablando de unos 20 años. Pues hoy, gracias a Dios, pues tenemos, creo que un buen colegio. Yo creo que cuando llegamos tendría unos, eran unos 150, 200 niños y ahora actualmente hay 850 niños en el colegio. Tenemos turno de mañana y tarde. Traditionally, it's called Babylon. So, but the time we collaborate with the Spanish, 2004, then uh, we, we, we give the name as Canary Element School. In the nursery, we don't have actually a subject. We have for uh, their developmental stage. They are small children and they are growing. What we are teaching them is how to help them to grow mentally, physically, uh, emotionally. the books, the pencils, the colors. We have a lot of things compared to some schools that do not have them. It's not enough sometimes, but what you have, you make good use of it. I teach in the morning, I teach in the afternoon. Ranging from English, mathematics, Integrated Studies, Arts and Craft. When I was a little boy, things were not like this. Uh, we used to be in one big class, and then uh, we used to have one teacher teaching about 40, 50, 60 students all together. But they did well. Even though they have small resources, they tried to teach us with those resources. I really like the work because I really like to work with the children and I'm very happy the way the ASIDA helped the children from the food, the health and their education which is really very good for the Lamen community. Lemon Women Project is a project of 10 girls. At first, we don't know how to sew. 
So we were there till Javier came in and said, okay, what can we do for young people? Right now, our weakness is last time some, some thief came into the tailoring shop and they broke the, the, the workshop and they took our machines. So when they buy, we have our accounts and we help each other. Our next target is if those girls are qualified, then we will also invite some young people to be part of this project and we will teach them. A Seda lo, lo que le preocupa mucho es la sanidad. Este año hemos, hemos terminado el dispensario. Ahí se atienden uno, una media de unos 40, 35 niños diarios. I can call it a sub dispensary or a first aid clinic in this school. We are taking good care of our students because before children will have wounds and then they will be in the class, nobody will take them to the health center. I do work for the government in some hospital around the country. So I do come here as a volunteer during my free times. It's important to have a clinic here so that you can take care of the kids like first aid treatment can be done before reaching a major health center or a hospital. Everybody is smiling, the kids are fun to be with and everybody here is so welcoming and I'm very grateful to, to them. The essence or the objective is to know the family condition, to know how they're living so that we can pass the message on to the sponsors so that they too would know how to prepare themselves in order to assist the families. Uh, the father name, the mother name and their occupation, how many brothers and how many sisters are they all going to the school? We normally pick that and their contacts number two. Uh, we have about up to 300 kids and we are hoping that would multiply. It's very important to lament because the objective of the organization is to help the underprivileged. Five, five. Two, one, three, four. Two, one, three. You yeah. should go with Afrocell. I hate Afrocell. Huh? I don't like Afrocell. Afrocell are cheats. No. I started using Afrocell when they start stealing my credits. I dump it. <laughs> oh. Actually, Lamen is a very big town in general, but it's a village, though. But it's like, it's one of the most beautiful towns that I've ever known in Gambia. Cook some little bit, put it on the road, people pass by and buy. So it's like, life goes on every day. Lo más importante que, que yo creo que ha aportado ha sido la cultura al pueblo. Porque si tú educas a, a 800 niños, estás educando a, imagínate, a 600 familias. Porque esos niños, cuando sean grandes, pueden mandar sus hijos al colegio. Since I was a little boy, I spent all my lifetime in Lamen, grew up here in Lamen, you know, go to school in Lamen, did everything in Lamen actually. Lamen is a town of love. Because um, I remember. Pero nunca ni él tampoco. Le digo, si nosotros somos limpios de corazón, si queremos a los niños y si somos serios, nos podemos comer el mundo. No me, me muera a mi brother and my younger sister there, and this, and my father, and me.